Yomim Noraim, we asked members of our congregation to reflect on the theme of lost and found, what I lost this year and what I found. And we're blessed that some of the people who uh, wrote pieces will share them with us on this Yom Kippur and uh, watch in the econ coming this week as we will share in writing all of the reflections that we received. And our uh, first uh, reflection comes from Alex Azel. Um, okay, so I lost my grandmother this past year, uh, the day before I went before. Um, but in losing her, I found the full extent of her generosity. Um, I learned that in addition to donating regularly to a domestic violence shelter, uh, she had also chosen some personal items of value to be sold, the proceeds going to that shelter, um, thinking of other people, even in thinking of her death, um, and also that my grandfather is still receiving mailers for a dozen different charities she subscribed to that none of us really knew about. Mm -hmm. Um, I've reconnected with extended family members after the funeral, uh, some of whom I hadn't seen in recent years as people got married and had children and moved out of town. Uh, they told me about their own cherished memories of my grandmother, and I learned that she still sent out birthday cards to all of them. I got to look through all of her photos and saw how close she was to her siblings. Uh, which gave me a, a fuller appreciation for how much it hurt her to be the only one left out of seven siblings. I call my grandfather more, and I say I love you more, and I have more compassion for my father, her son, uh, even when we clash. I miss her a lot, and a memory is never going to be as good as the real thing, but I feel as though my memory is more complete. Um, and because of that, I cherish it more deeply. 